Could you tell us uh, what are the diff different types of parties using crypto tokens or um, or offer products and services based on them? Could you well, understand me? Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, that really depends on which country you're looking at, and it, it depends on how you're looking at Bitcoin. Now we got to understand that at the moment Bitcoin is really in its very early stages. It's not that easy to use. It's complex technology, and it requires uh, some some complex concepts. So as a result, uh, you know the truth is that a lot of the early adopters in Bitcoin are um, the uh, technically literate, uh, the most um, the people who adopt the technology the earliest, the nerds, the geeks, uh, as me. Um, and we, we tend to have an easier time absorbing um, rapid technological change and being exposed to these kinds of experimental technologies. However, what we're seeing is uh, gradually Bitcoin is spreading in various places around the world and with various uses. We see Bitcoin being used in online commerce because it actually provides for a much better consumer experience. It allows people to buy things online very quickly and easily, uh, without exposing their private banking information or credit card information to intermediaries, and in a way that is much more secure than traditional credit card payments. We see Bitcoin being used increasingly for remittances, uh, for immigrants to send money home to their uh, families, uh, replacing uh, much more expensive alternatives such as uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, and others like that. We see Bitcoin being used in import and export businesses as a faster way to uh, send payments instead of wire transfers. We see Bitcoin being used to pay uh, subcontractors, suppliers, and partners in multiple different countries because it facilitates international payments very, very effectively. We also see Bitcoin being used for a variety of individual uses, from you know buying uh, coffee to buying t-shirts to all kinds of things like that. Uh, in, in different places, we will also see that um, Bitcoin is uh, gradually being approached by various governments that are interested in seeing if they can use Bitcoin to uh, accept payments for government uh, services. Uh, it's interesting to see that in, in many countries, for example, uh, it is, uh, th they use um, various forms of electronic payments for uh, public transportation um, that are very restrictive in their use and not very flexible. So we know that there are a number of governments interested in seeing how um, Bitcoin could be used to offer municipal services and local government services. Those are the kinds of uh, uses we see today. But um, you know, it's interesting to note that because it is still a very early stage of this technology. What we're seeing is a lot of the traditional uses of currency simply being replicated in Bitcoin. Well, I think Bitcoin will get much more interesting as we see broader adoption when things that cannot be done with existing currencies and payment systems start being done with Bitcoin, uh, including, for example, micropayments for creative content on the internet, uh, which is not possible today. Um, and various other forms of autonomous systems that can use Bitcoin directly, uh, whether that's self-driving cars, perhaps, or um, automated hotel systems. Uh, and so we've barely scratched the surface uh, of what types of uses Bitcoin might have.